Foley, and I want to show you guys how to use a couple tools in Photoshop. And I'm going to use Justin Bieber and Kourtney Kardashian, and we're going to put them together with the quick selection tool, which is right here, the quick selection tool. And we might use the clone stamp tool. So we're going to use those two tools, stick these two together. We got Justin Bieber over here kissing someone. I don't know who that is. You can comment and let me know. But uh, let's get right to the quick selection tool. We're going to use that. We're going to take Courtney and we're going to try to get as much of her body and her hair as we can. We're actually going to crop out the bottom of this. So let's not worry so much about the bottom. Let's try to get everything here. Okay, so I'm using the quick selection tool. And if you want to look at my properties in the refine edge, those are my properties. I use a 32 smooth, and that's pretty much about it. And that's what I've been using, and I've been getting good results with that. So if we're just focusing on the upper part of Courtney, we can go over here and select her and drag her up. That's the trick right there. You drag up and into the other photo that you're using. Let's go over here to the edit and click the free transform tool. Now the free transform tool lets you move things up and down, left and right. You can also move them like this. You hold the shift so that you don't lose control of the image and it doesn't lose its properties. So I'm using the shift and I'm, I'm placing her close to, to Justin. I'm gonna make her a little big, bigger because she looks really small. And um, I guess since she has a lot more hair than, than uh, that girl, we're gonna put her right there. And then we're just gonna click the selector tool and then click apply and she looks a little off to me so I'm gonna redo that now I don't really like the way uh, Courtney looks so I'm gonna go to the eraser tool and I'm gonna use it a little bit I'm gonna start erasing here a little bit of this hair so that we could see Justin's nose a little bit in his lips um, let's, let's just do that a little bit more that looks a little better now this hair really erasing we'll just leave it like that that's good and then um, let's go into the clone stamp tool that we were talking about earlier press the clone stamp tool press option and then let's blot out some of the girls hair that we still see and we don't have to worry about Courtney because she's on the upper layer here Okay, that looks a little better and that's about it we used the quick selection tool we used the eraser tool I didn't think we were going to use it and then the clone stamp tool we didn't really use it but that's the end of the lesson